Photodynamic Therapy or PDT. Hi, my name is Dr. Davin Lim, a board certified laser dermatologist. Today's topic will be talking about photodynamic therapy or PDT. This treatment has been with us for a very, very long time, over close to 15 years now. Um, and it is still used throughout the world. We use it in Australia, we use it in the US, in Europe, everywhere in the world we use PDT. And we use PDT to treat acne, but also to treat skin conditions such as sun damage and also precancerous lesions and skin cancer. In America, you have Luvan, and we use blue light in the US. However, in Australia, we have something called Metvix and we use red light. Today's video is about showing you how it's done, what to expect, the before and after results, and what are the future alternatives of PDT. So thanks for watching and I'll show you how it's done. Crikey, well check this out. This guy has an immense amount of sun damage. Where do we start and where do we begin? We basically got to start somewhere and those are the thick areas. These areas are the most precancerous areas, known as IECs. Hey guys, sorry about the shaky video, but this is FPV. So you can see on the other side, he's got confluent areas of solar damage. All these red marks, which are scaly, are basically precancerous cells called solar keratosis, and he has heaps of them. So basically, he is almost a candidate for full face PDT, but we're just marking out a few areas to begin with. So. We prep the area, there's various ways to prep it. We can use a gauze, we can use a curette. Um, sometimes I even use a laser, and this uh, means faster absorption time for the cream. So I can use either a fully ablative laser or even fractional laser. But the best way I found out is basically sterilized sandpaper, believe it or not. Step two is application of the cream. Uh, here we are in Australia using our old-fashioned spatula technique using um, Metvix ALA. So we apply it on thickly, but in the US you guys are much more sophisticated. You've got a stick called Luvan. Um, step three is the same thing. We use um, occlusion. So basically the cream needs to be absorbed. So we cover it up and we use tape, which is um, uh, brown tape, so the light does can't go through and activate the chemical. So I'm speeding up the process here because we're just taping it up. Um, and we tape up both sides. Incubation period, in other words, the cream gets left on from a period of one hour all the way up to three hours. Now, step four is activation and illumination. Like I said, in the US, you use have, uh, sorry, you guys have blue light. So the blue light basically activates the chemical, which is ALA, which is concentrated in the precancerous cells, in turn causing cell death through oxidation. So blue light activates it. Red light um, is used mostly in Europe and in Australia as well. The logic behind that is that there are two spectrums of which it can be absorbed, blue and red. Red goes deeper, it's more painful, but it's equally as effective as blue. So this is red light treatment activation with PDT. Um, so we use different devices, everything from small actolytes all the way up to Lutronics. So the treatment process itself takes between um, three minutes all the way up to seven minutes. Now step five is the recovery process. This is the typical recovery from baseline, 24 hours later, next thing you know, four weeks later, and there's a reduction in the amount of solar damage. Here are typical before and afters, before with a huge amount of sun damage and after one treatment of um, PDT, you can see a marked improvement in both um, cancer and precancerous cells. That's just one treatment using red light in Australia. This is another one of my patients, marked amount of solar damage in, in um, skin cancers before and shortly after. That's with this one treatment. So this treatment is fully covered under the Department of Veteran Affairs. So guys, there you have it. That's photodynamic therapy or PDT summed up. Um, I still feel it is a good treatment. It's not, in my opinion, this is my opinion only, not the gold standard treatment. I think that over the last 15 years, technology has actually improved. Um, and instead of using PDT to treat a lot of my sun damage, I now use um, what's known as high density Fraxel. High density Fraxel is actually a much more efficient treatment. It clears up more sunspots, gives you a longer remission, quicker recovery times, uh, better cosmetic effects. Um, there's so many positives as well, and it's also cheaper than um, the cost of a Metvix tube. So I think this is what 
the future holds. But once again, this is my opinion. Certainly um, other dermatologists or plastic surgeons' opinions may differ. Hey guys, thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for more information on anything new that's coming up. Hey, a big thank you to all my subscribers. Um, look, I know there's heaps of you guys, especially from the US, but also locally from Australia. So thanks for subscribing and um, helping me with things. Cheers.